And who is my neighbor? We are told this in the 10th chapter of Luke. A certain lawyer asked Jesus Christ this right before he told the parable of the Good Samaritan. Now I'm going to come back to you about this question in a minute. But I want to ask you again that question. And who is my neighbor? Habitat for Humanity has a philosophy of a hand up, not a hand out. Habitat for Humanity is building hope by building homes. They have changed lives in over 90 countries, in all 50 states, and have changed the lives of over 350 families right here in our community. Habitat for Humanity is a Christian ministry dedicated to a vision of a world where everyone has a decent place to live. They conduct their programs in ways that are sensitive and respectful to the cultural context and the local faith community and reflect their belief that all are created in God's image and deserve to be treated with respect without discrimination. Their motivation is to unite people around the concept of putting God's love into action along with others from all faiths and those with no faith at all who are interested in helping others who are in need of better housing. Habitat families are people that you encounter every day. They may drive your child's school bus. They may serve as a nursing assistant at your local hospital. They may even greet you behind the counter at your local bank. They're all working from day to day just to, just to uh, cover their expenses of living. There's a common misconception about Habitat for Humanity. A lot of people say they just give people houses. I heard that a lot when I told people at work or some of my friends. Oh, they just give people houses, Chris. They don't have to work for them. Well, that's not the case. Habitat for Humanity families have to serve 200 to 400 sweat equity hours, which is where they work on their own home or someone else's home, or they have to volunteer at the restore if they're not able to work. They have to attend a series of classes about home ownership, maintenance of their home, and financial management, and how to uh, pay for mortgage payments. Everyone has to pay a 20 to 30 year mortgage. It is interest free, but the uh, payments are made to Habitat and enables Habitat to continue the cycle of building more homes for partner families. And the events are life changing. Over a year ago, I sat in Arbor Acres at a joint board retreat. And the joint board came up with visions or dreams for this church to perform. And one of those visions was to build a Habitat home. Well, we are one, less, one week away from one of those visions coming true. And because of the unselfishness of this congregation, it is now a joint effort with all the Salem congregations and Winston-Salem State University and is being built in the memory of Reverend Dr. Cedric Rodney. The home is being built at 1006 West 14th Street, and it's the first of its kind. It is a duplex build. It is being built by us on one side, and the downtown churches will be built on the other side. And as a side note, uh, Habitat's new headquarters is going to be built across the street where their warehouse will be. I thought that was pretty neat. Since this is a new construction, I cannot give you a schedule of what kind of construction will be taking place on what day. This is all new to them too. But I can tell you that it will be very important that all 15 slots be filled every Saturday. After the first day, there's three people signed up for 11 weeks worth of work. We need you to go home today and sign up to work. 
If we get done in 11 weeks, we're scheduled from April 25th to July 25th, and every Saturday we'll work except for July 4th. We need you to come and work. You can sign up at habitat.forsyth.volunteerhub. Habitat.forsyth.volunteerhub. And there's a join code you have to use. It's the word Moravian in all caps. Lunch will be provided. The Women's Fellowship of this church has really stepped up and I think they deserve great credit. People from other congregations have begun to contact me about serving lunch. Chick-fil-A is going to serve the first day. Um, the foundation, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and drywall will all be contracted out. And you don't need to be, you will not be made to do anything that you feel uncomfortable doing. If you don't want to climb a ladder and shingle the roof, you won't have to. And did I mention lunch would be provided? <laughs> We've got a great opportunity here with the resources of this church to help out a community in need. And it will also better the whole community as a whole, all in Winston-Salem. And it will make the world a better place. So I ask you today, when you go home, please sign up. We can't do it with three people. We need everybody. Thank you, and God bless you.